Hey, bro. Struggling with my OCD. Okay, this is, um, this is a dream world, there's either I'm playing again, the first, it's the first time I'm playing it and making a video in, uh, in like over a month or so, and so, last time I played, I'd got into the entrance of this ice castle in Narnia, hadn't I? Which, as you can see, appears to be made of ice blocks. It actually looks similar to a castle from um, Mag Magic Land, is he? I think, which it doesn't actually play because there's things in it which should make me anxious with my OCD. With my OCD, so. Let's go in and see what we find, eh? A chilly welcome to the ice castle. Great play. Great play. Built by the witch. By, by the white witch. To watch over Narnia, pray, pray. Are you intimidated by being here yet, pray, pray? In a word, no. Well, just a little bit, but um, here we go anyway. So the main entrance here. Is it a hall or just the main entrance? The title of the screen leaves that rather ambiguous, doesn't it? And you know, have you just noticed how these blocks here have little uh, sharp bits which prevent me from from um, from jumping past them if I'm if I'm high enough that I can get a collide with those sharp little bits on the underside. I bet that hurt to see in real life, wouldn't this, if he existed in real life? Uh, but the game doesn't hurt us if we do that because maybe they're just not meant to be noticed. And here we have another Z. You're trapped. A Z. Play, play. Here at this far wall of the castle which we can see the glorious shining moonlight beyond Carly. At the rear of the castle, as the screen title says us, and whoop. Talking about screen titles, baby dolls, isn't that tiny little dizzy cues in the top left? I think I've said that before, haven't I, but... I have to forget things with my OCD and the fact that I haven't done any videos in a while. And look at a striking portrait of the king. 
of this Narnia nation, perhaps before the witch took over, maybe. Quite menacing to look at and imposing, isn't it? You could feel him, you could feel him staring you down, can't you, with his authoritarian glare? Rather intimidating indeed. Looks like the uh, outer edges, the side edges of it are made from rope textures, doesn't it, maybe? Curious indeed. And say, baby doll, viewers at home, can I interact with this moat mechanism? It's it seem not. When all's said and done, did you notice I just got locked temporarily on that upper bit of brickwork? Maybe it's like that with all I've done, though, and I shouldn't put too much thought or emphasis into it. Up we go, then. Let's hope we don't find anything too dangerous without having them a little bit rusty at this point in time. And I wonder if that cheese is a... Um, a food stuff to increase my health or a puzzle item. I'm probably gonna to have to try those uh, try them sooner or later to see because if they are puzzle items I'll never actually solve puzzles until I try picking them up, but I So here's the main staircase by the way. It appears to lead us to a lot of places in the castle. And here we are at the West Tower. What could we find up here? A whole lot of nothing, it seems. But as the title of the screen tells us, it's an escape route. And it figures that, um, it figures that, doesn't it, with how we drop down from a, a high cliff scape. Um, earlier on, well, in my last video, and it seemed as if there was no way to climb it again, this didn't it? And up there we have a cup, it seems. I'm gonna take a risk and, um, assume that the cup up here isn't a food item. Yes, it's a large mug. Who knows what we'll be doing with it, eh? It, there's the possibility with it being a mug of with it being a mug of course or it could help me with a certain puzzle which I never actually managed to do when I used to play this game years ago. Because I'll reiterate, as I said in past videos, I've never actually completed this particular Dizzy Fine game. I've but I've, I've only got really far into it, you see. Probably a good deal farther than where I actually am now, in fact. You're throughout. You You're You're throughout. You're throughout. You're throughout. Yes, we're really getting up to now once we were 19 of them. Although I do believe there is a lot of them in this game. Could be like 40 or 50, maybe even more. 50 is a number that's standing out to me, but then how can I possibly know if I've never actually completed it before? Ah, the witch is here, it's an appear. And I'm a poet and I know it, baby doubles, and she seems rather taken by that um, imposing portrait of the king as well, doesn't she? So, oh, can she actually hurt me? Oh yes, yeah, she can. Uh, can we talk to her? Yes. Are you the white witch, boy, boy? I am indeed! Who wants to know, young man? I'm dizzy, I was just talking to Aslan and... You're an I am Aslan, boy, boy! Then you're my enemy! 
get out before I have you killed, you horrible little egg man. Uh, you say have me killed, but I don't see any staff or guards you have anywhere around here. So me thinks you're full, you, me thinks you're just all talk. Oh, do I do remember that just touching you hurt me, so yes. I'll just back away quietly and there's nothing else you have to say, is there? It's a appeared so great and bad for now. Although I will get revenge on you for hurting me. Um, I'm not going to take the chance of picking up that cheese yet, of course. And so, it appears we've seen all there is to see. It would seem we've seen all there is to see in this castle for the time being, but what it said so. Let us evacuate by taking the cloud, you rude and up I don't fall. By making that daring jump there, which I did unfortunately enough. And... You f... You f... You f... Oh, for a minute there I was afraid I was going to press the wrong button and then not jump and end up falling through the cloud. That would have been an unpleasant sensation. And I'm guessing this will be a food item to replenish my health by, so I'm not going to pick it up just yet. Over here, yes. Yes, jumping from that cloud did get me back onto the cliff top. So I can leave Narn here after getting to the top of the cliff after all. Don't think we've got anything yet to give to the lion, Aslan. In order to win Boltwood and him, so that we'll be able to engage in one versus one personal combat with the witch and defeat her. Uh, let's go then. Um, I remember now that the shopkeeper made a bold prediction about who murdered who in this game of Cluedo, which they all seem rather fixated. Which they all seem fixated by, and because there's a Professor Plum in included, I think, I wonder if he'd be interested in an actual Plum. No, I guess not. Oh well. And because he looks like a bartender, I wonder if he'd be interested in um, the large mug. Probably not, since I found it so close to his location and we're getting deep into this game, but might as well try now. Okay, let's go and um, see what we find. And now we get the foreboding music change again. Um, don't think we've got anything that'll get that horseshoe off the night just yet. But I wonder what's up here, kids, to see if we get, get any ideas as to what to do. I had ideas, um, like a week or so, a few weeks ago or so, about uh, what to do with various items that I found, but... I pretty much forgot all of them right now, and um, so this is possibly going to involve quite a bit of wandering around for me, um, trying to figure out what to do, isn't it? But, um, 
There is one thing that I remember, uh, which I used to do in the past. Where's the cross gone? Uh, I mean, it might be handy to have that in order to navigate that room more safely. Uh, to be frank, though, I'm thinking I might have left it with my other item, as my stash of items on the ground floor of this castle. So, let's mosey on down there, and yes, it's there. So, let's empty our hands, our gloves here, and, um... We'll take the cross, and, um... I'll take the Bible too, just in case having both of these items has some kind of a potent effect on the room where the poltergeist is. Actually, I best um, make the uh, items, these, I best make these big arms move, I don't know. Just uh, to be safe, you understand? Keep dropping the wrong item because I'm not really concentrating very much with my uh, commentary and OCD and all. Because I believe those boxes and the the box and the yarn actually hurt us, even when they're still, you see. I thought we could jump through this wall, though, from what I remember of the past playing this. Because I remember that you can actually somehow uh, jump up here, I think. But who knows, maybe I just don't have that item yet which allows us to do that. So. I'm not going to be trying that little plan of mine just yet, after all. Instead... Instead, I'm going to take a risk here, because... Have you noticed how that's under the bridge, LD, LCD? Looks like a castle moat, and because it's facing right, it makes me think, um... Uh, it'll be effective over here with this right-facing moat. Oh, it makes me think it could be effective with the other one as well, but I'm not sure. But given the possibility that we could drown on the dirt, I can't get out in time and I don't have a snorkel or aqua lung, I'll save. And now, to be extra safe, I'll use it here so that uh, if I suddenly fall down, I'll land on that little platform on the wall so that you can see attached to the right wall. Affixed to the right wall there, yes. You start singing along to the sea day, and you fall. So, alright, so I can use it again and again, can I? Yeah. Okay then, uh, yeah, let's get this. You fall. Zap, pray, pray. And look at that look on our face. Quite concerning, isn't it? It's like we're about to start drowning, so I better get out fast. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hurry. Oh, did it make you insane? Uh, you know what? Um, did I actually get it? Um, Yes, uh, I mean, do I still have it? Does it still count towards my uh, amount, I wonder? Yes, there isn't there, uh, so let's get out of here fast. Yes. You know what, with how I still have a life left, I'm not going to bother reverting to my previous save state. But, 
Let's see if I can use the, um, the uh, CD here to get underneath this bridge as well, eh? Even though I've got a feeling I won't be able to. No. Yes, clearly it doesn't work with this particular drawbridge. So, back to the drawing board. And I am kind of disappointed that uh, all we got from that uh, other drawbridge was, um, was a collectible to go towards our total of collectibles, which we need to presumably complete the game in the end. <laughs> but, one of the ideas which I had um, when I last, when I was watching my video back last time was to use something to try and um, fill, the, fill the gallows that were over in the basements of that castle we were just in. Because, <clears throat> who knows, maybe it only targets specifically young folk, like Dizzy himself. And if that's the case, maybe it could be deceived with an actual egg, eh? There's always the possibility when all's said and done. So by all means, maybe don't view us at home. Let's head on over to the castle and venture into the depths of the basement and see if our little plan works, eh? So here we are. And we get the foreboding musical change now that we're here. So, down we go now. To the room with the chopping block. Or the gal- Yeah, the chopping block. Because gallows are where people are home to death, aren't they? Rather stupid of me to make that mistake. But I digress. So yes, I press the save in case we have an unfortunate mishap here again. So let's see if we can use the large egg as a decoy, eh? No? Let's see how close I can get. Yeah, up to about the middle. Okay. Oh, that was save. Um, um, inhumane to try and use the cat as a decoy, wasn't it? So I wonder if we can jump by it and uh, avoid the, um, the blade that way. No. We die immediately as soon as it touches us. As we just saw, as is plainly evident. Uh, so... Can we use the spanner to tamper with the workings of everything here? Seems not. Just, um, getting a little over anxious to with the use function. Another, <coughs> another thing I'm wondering here is, um, if I take a daring plunge into this water, maybe I'll find something that'll help me, eh? So, I'll drop something and uh, save, just in case I get careless and die again. Let's see what's down here, eh? There's something at least that could help. I panicked a bit there, uh, jumping a bit higher than I needed to, didn't I? But let's see about collecting that item that's down there, eh? I need my advertise in case oh, I'm not going to make it out, am I? Oh, oh, press the wrong button. Uh. 
Okay, today it'd be nice to get the death message. Uh, okay, let's go. And try and get that thing again, what do you say? You know, I'm gonna try again to make sure to try and get those fish out of position. Because I've already made me panic last time. Oh, I'm losing health. Oh, it's time I'm not gonna do it. Is that even possible, I wonder? Maybe I just, um need to uh, be more risk... maybe I need to take more risks with my jumps, eh? Yeah, that's about right. I should do it now, I hope. Oh, oh no, it's not possible, is it? Uh, although, um, I don't know. I thought, I thought I might have done something like this before in a dizzy game. So, yeah, let's try again. I'm gonna try and be perfect now. Oh yes, okay. Hurry on up. Come on, Dizzy, you can do it. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, it's not possible. Um, because that was my perfect attempt, as you just saw there. <coughs> uh, so now I'm gonna start trying to pick up these food items and. Um, We'll see whether the food items are puzzle items, eh? Okay, I'm not hungry, so that's a food item, clearly enough. Doesn't look like there's anything that can be done here, does there? Can I, uh, like, jump through the wall or anything, I wonder? No. Because sometimes that's a thing in dizzy games, jumping through walls and finding hidden collectibles. And that kind of phenomenon actually happens in this game too, from what I remember, but from when I heard. But when I used to play it in the past, so, um... You'll have to be mindful of that particular fact, won't we? And notice how it says dead end here, so maybe we could find something help helpful here, but um, evidently we'll need an item to uh, get through that wall, won't we? Since uh, since the title of the screen tells us that um, all oh, is not what it seems on that screen over there. And I remember this leads to that big plug, so um I'm pretty sure that we need a magnet to uh, pull that plug out of its place, so um we're not gonna be able to do that yet, are we? I just wonder if there's a puzzle to be solved here with a skeleton as well. I may be using the spanner somehow to pull it down, but um that doesn't really seem like a possibility, does it? So... Need to remember to avoid the bats here, and now progress. I just got hurt a bit by that drop bit of water, didn't I? So, out of desperation... Let's see what we can pick up in here, I um, Let's see if there's anything that can be picked up in here, in fact. If there's anything hiding any items, although most likely it'll just be something solving as uh, won't it? But still, that'll really bring us closer to our ultimate objective of finishing the game anyway, so... Even that'll be something to content ourselves with. A little bit of progress to content ourselves with when all said and done. Seems like I can't actually get down to that lowest area of this room, doesn't it? So I'm going to go with that assumption for the time being and um, not bother probing this room too much just yet. Say, 
that seems solid. That platform, that uh, piece of equipment up here, doesn't it? I wonder if there's something I can do up here. Or if it's just a purely uh, decorative platform that's here just for the purpose of providing an extra platform. Can we tamper with these mechanisms with the spanner, I wonder? Or maybe I can use them to go onto the higher cars or something. No. Or maybe use them for to get through this higher wall, but I have my doubts that I'll be able to reach it from this position, which clearly I can't, as you just saw. Oh, Mr. Obey, we can use our added height here to jump through a... through a false brick or something up here, but no, it seems not. Guess there's just... Oh, oh it was that drop of water, wasn't it? And I just hurt myself on the bat again. Gonna need to collect a food item at some point in the future, aren't I? Out, he'll be able to put the fire out with a fluff away, but let's try now. Okay, then let's head across here and uh, see if I find anything helpful in here. Because that looks like some kind of a spring or something, doesn't it? But I can't seem to do, I can't seem to pick you up or collect you or anything. Maybe I can tamper with this with a spanner. No. I we wonder if I'll be able to move those boxes with the spring at some point or other in the near future. <laughs> Suppose I could always try maybe opening the boxes with the spanner as well. Shoulders hurting me a bit. All the time, or I've been there lying like this with my arm in this position. From this position, I might collect that uh, apple if it is a food stuff there is, and um. I don't want to risk collecting it while I uh, still have rather a lot of health in case, um, <coughs> in case I end up wasting it. I mean, I know the food stuffs don't actually um, grant you a lot of health in this game, do they? But um, still, could be more than what I've actually lost so far. And I mustn't waste even the slightest bit of the health they offer, must I? That's the OCD victim in me, speaking, you understand? Okay, so can I open any of these boxes with the spanner? Seem not. Okay then, let's be leaving this room and see if I get any ideas. Oh yeah, I remember now. Cinderella wanted an item which you often find at picnics, does didn't she? And um, although before I go to well, let's just see what we find in these other rooms as well. See if there's anything in, in any of these other rooms that gives me a burst of inspiration. Cause I do believe that we pick up a log here, which is, I think, is that. From what I remember from when I used to play this, you see. Plus, logs can potentially help a person cross bodies of water, can't they? Okay, 
so would you. I'll see if there's anything else which might be uh, obstructing helpful items behind the collectibles. That isn't. Uh, I wasn't expecting uh, a, a false wall there. But yeah, it shows this room isn't exactly short on secrets, doesn't it? So, I'll say before I risk going uh, through walls where the which are next to wells, because I could end up in a well drowning, and that's. Would it be a fun sensation to experience when, um, when I'm not prefer prepared for such an eventuality, would it? Oh, that was a bit of a scary fall there as well. Okay, it's almost seeming like there's a... Um, where else to go here, but who knows when all's said and done. Pretty sure there's more to this section than what I'm experiencing here, though. Yeah, see? Stone block and the z You found. Z you found. Z up to 23 now, doesn't it? So maybe that is all that there is to this section in the wall, in the wall here. But I think that maybe this was the way to get into that ca castle vault on the left side, but um, maybe there's another way. There is another way, you know. As that old woman that in that old advert used to say, which I can't remember. Um, yeah, let's go then and try my original idea <laughs> of helping Cinderella with her picnic, eh? And by the way, isn't criticized by Alexander O'Neill, O'Neill, a legend. By Alexander O'Neill, Alexander O'Neill, Alexander O'Neill, a, 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 Alexander O'Neill, a legendary song, a legendary song, a legendary song, guy. And so. Uh, what was I gonna guess? The plum? So and uh, logic. Um, I'll leave fluff away. I don't think um, Cinderella will be wanting that a red picnic after all. And I've got a feeling that Toto could be a help for that um, rabbit hole. What do you say? It seems plausible when all said and done after all. So let's proceed. Say Cinderella, you wouldn't want a plum, would you? No. Or a large egg? No. Ah, a large mug. This is my last. This is my last uh, card. This is my last uh, um, op option. No? Oh, Toto? No. Oh, my well, dear, goes their idea, I guess. Uh, better try everything there whilst stood centrally in front of it, isn't I? Yeah. Okay, then let's try, try Toto with the hole. No, that doesn't seem to be working either. Don't suppose eating the large egg would maybe shrink me to get down here, would it? Don't ask me how that logic works, but... Anything can happen in it. 
It does say you need madness of a dizzy game card. Uh, so back to the drawing board again. Maybe um, Cinderella could be wanting to flop away, but as um, to me that seems like a bit of a stretch. But I'll take you anyway, and let's be going. See if this is what she wants. I don't suppose if all else fails, I could um, then start jumping from um, from high places in the treehouse complex. Yeah, she does a lot of fluff lady either. And uh, I don't suppose I left anything around about this area, did I? Is there anything we could uh, put down the well, maybe? I mean, who knows? Maybe Toto will go down the well and find something for me, eh? Guess not. Time for a roll down the hill. Which wasn't very helpful, but it was a good stress relief, I suppose. Oh no, hope I don't get hurt. Ah. Oh, we do have that bottle again, but um, nothing of any real interest for me though at this point in time. Yeah, so. Um, Maybe we can collect some liquid in the mug or something. No. Oh well. Oh well, we'll try from the left side of the well. But no. Can't use it in that capacity either. She's very tall, Cinderella, isn't she? How I can't even jump higher than she is tall. So imagine what the, how tall the adults from her world must be compared to us, eh? That's a bit of a frightening thought when all said and done. So... No wonder if I can use this block to stand on for um, that room with the medals in, eh? I suppose it's worth a shot. So I must be adding up the, what do you say? And test my theory. Yeah. Or is this definitely the right block we was supposed to use because we collected another block before, didn't we? Um, when I collected that Z that was hidden behind it. So behind the medals here we find a Z. Let me guess, any of the others, I wonder? Evidently not. And, um, before... Well, I've got plenty of health, so... Let's see if we can stand on the swords now. And I'm pretty sure the swords won't actually hurt me because... The background items in a good number of dizzy games, and they've never hurt me in other dizzy games. And sometimes swords and walls can be platforms, although they don't really seem to be here. Anyway, my fear may regarding this metal here is that uh, without a lion uh, 
But how the lion says he doesn't have the courage to face the witch. Maybe the medal will help him because sometimes medals are awarded for valor, a bravery, and heroic deeds, aren't they? So if we give him the medal, maybe he'll stop believing in himself and um, then he'll be able to fight a witch, eh? But who knows, maybe the medal can be hung from this flagpole in order to improve the morale of the natives of Narnia and make them revolt against the witch, eh? That's my logic, but seems like Jamie Douglas didn't share my logical views and musings here. Which, to be honest, most people don't, but I digress when all's said and done. And does the shopkeeper want to buy the medal for a, a nice hearty sack of golden coins or something? No, clearly not. Anyway, another thing I remember from when I used to play this is that we can collect some of these crystals which reveal hidden a hidden z yeah, I wonder if these crystals could be valuable for something, for some puzzle solution or something, when all set and done. So yes, Aslan, I hereby award you a medal. For the brave deeds you accomplished back in the days when you were brave and young and you believed in yourself. Ah, I didn't think that would actually work. Here's a bravery medal for you as one fearless knight of legend, boy, boy. This proves you're not cowardly anymore, boy, boy. Oh, thank you. I guess I won't need this power pill now, boy, boy. Actually, I might want to keep that just to give, just so they can have that extra bit of, um, of, of leverage against a witch, eh? Oh no. Uh, oh, yeah, I was just getting around to that, wondering why he was still here and not gonna go off and fight her. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've ever got this power pill before. Can you help me defeat a witch and restore freedom to Narnia, but Narnia, boy, boy? Yes, so try. How can we defeat a young egg? Well, I was hoping with you being a lion, you could just savage her and rip her to pieces, and then. All would be done and fine and dandy, but um, yes, that's that's not the case with lions from fairy tales and dizzy games. The reason the witch likes winter is that she doesn't like heat. Boy, boy, how do we know that? Boy, mm, boy. Oh, was it the lion town or that? Oh well, I'll take this power pill and see what I can do with it. Who knows, maybe the power pill is what I need to uh, pull the magnet away from the knight in shining armor, eh? It's worth a shot anyway, I suppose, when all's said and done. In this day and age of deceit, deception, duplicity, and dishonesty, the four D's is they could look really known when all said and done. No, power pill doesn't seem to help me for that. Oh, I wonder what I could be needing it for. I doubt Cinderella would be needing it for a picnic because. Why would you need to be exceptionally strong for a picnic, I wonder? But at the same time, I doubt I use it to, um... Oh, what 
of the pool from the drain, and besides, Dizzy can't breathe underwater for a long time in this game, so I don't think it'd make it out if, if the place was suddenly flooded with water, would I? I suppose it's worth a shot, though. And, you know, if I find something under there, or under where the plug is, um... It wouldn't help me in my hands if all, would it? So, yes, best just to have three items, I say. Could always try, um... Talking to the, talking to the witch as well, but, um... I probably don't have to go back to her until the time comes to overthrow their leadership, do I? Maybe the power pill could make me strong enough to withstand this death trap? I'll say, if it's a... No? No. Steroids don't save you from suddenly being sliced to pieces by guillotines, it's a bit, it's a scene. Oh, I suppose the crystals with them being really hard could stop the, uh, could make the blade get stuck. I'm gonna try to plug, wasn't I? To um, see if we know what need to solve that puzzle yet, even though I don't actually have um, an aqua one yet, or a snorkel for that matter. So down we go, and we'll see. And I don't think the power pill would shrink me so I can get down the rabbit hole, but would it? Anyway, I'd save just in case I flood the whole cabin, the whole dungeon, and then I can't get back out in time. It's always a possibility after all. Yeah. You need the pill and pull on the chains, boy, boy. Just like in that old song about train safety, boy, boy. But I'm curious, would I be able to solve the puzzle if I, if the aqua, yeah, would I be able to solve the puzzle, yes, if an aqua only is actually needed? Does that be rather unthoughtful game design if it was possible? Well, let's see anyway. You jump back as the plug. Pops that, boy, boy, because you're very nimble and cautious like that, being a seasoned veteran of an explorer, boy, boy. So you always hope the cabin isn't flooded and I don't drown due to not being able to possibly get back out in time. Oh, that's not good. Wait, I'm not going to make you out, so let's see if there's a way to survive down there, which, no, there isn't, because can't actually get down. Yeah, that was a failure indeed. But you know something, I'm going to see if I can actually, um, I'm going to see if I can do it in time. So let's stand as far away as I can. And... Let's see if we can get out of time now. It's not possible, is it? Just rises too fast and there's too much ground to cover. Yeah, that's impossible. I don't suppose I could do it. No, I don't think I'd do it if I had full health even, would I? So clearly I'm barking up the wrong tree with this puzzle. Solving this puzzle, aren't I? So what can I do, I wonder? Maybe I should actually have an, aqu an aqualong or a snorkel by now. And there's some puzzle or problem or 
some puzzle or problem I'm overlooking or some place I haven't yet visited which I should be should have visited. It's tough to say when all is said and done. Oh yes, back to the drawing board again. So now I think I'll try um Do I have anything that could create heat and uh, drive off the witch I wonder? Well, you know, I could try the power pill and see if that shrinks me so I can get down the rabbit hole. And what else should I take? I'll take Soul Tell for Lock. And let's be going to Cinderella. Although, yeah, we know that the uh, power pill is needed for the plug, don't we? So, I doubt it'll solve any puzzles with Cinderella, but in the interest of being thorough, let's try anyway. So, Cinderella, would you like to uh, pull on a bunch of steroid, or the steroid muscles, so that you can beat up those cruel adults who committed you to a mental asylum in your... the world you came from? No, clearly that isn't her style. She must be the type to use her charisma and... social skills to overcome villainous, cruel people. Oh, crystals, after all, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, don't they? But, seems like they're not your best friend. Oh, well. With our, um... Well, I, I don't remember ever having any successful outcomes in dealing with the witch with the witch when they used to play this, so well um I'll try my other idea. And that involves just leaping from high places. The treehouse complex. Don't schools that have anything which could uh, maybe cut down a rope about how a rope would I? Who knows? I don't think I do though. So, up we go here. Yeah, this isn't the right place, is it? We need to go higher, it would seem. So up we go. Is this the right floor? Yes. Time to climb the rope down and get out of here. Like so. Get back to her, the tree house complex. Will this provide us enough height to get back there, I wonder? Whee! Maybe not, but we'll see. We still, still seem to be quite a long way from there, don't we? I wonder if I can get onto that cloud that's slower down. No, I didn't jump far enough, did I? Now that the treehouse complex is a long way from the castle, so, um... Maybe that's a fruitless endeavour. 
to try and um, to try and get there using the clouds. Doesn't look like jumping here will get me anywhere worthwhile, does it? So I'll try leaping from over this other side. See if I come across any clouds with useful items on them, maybe. There is a possibility when all concerned with all there all things considered. You know, it won't matter if I lose a bit of health here because it'll just give me the chance to try picking up some food stuffs, wouldn't it? That way I can be sure they aren't actually used for puzzle. That way I can be sure they are food stuffs and not puzzle items. Yeah, jumping from that vantage point didn't help in the slightest, did it? I think there was a food item around here by the volcano now. And that makes me wonder, do we have anything that could enable us to traverse the volcano? Anyway, yes, that was definitely a food stuff, as you can see. From the fact that I just devoured it. So, back into the treehouse complex we go, to jump from high vantage points, and we'll um, see if I come across anything helpful. You, uh, nah, you will want the power pill, will we? After all, we know what the power pill is needed for. So, up we go again and I'll try jump, jumping from the high left side again. Let's see if we find anything useful in the clouds, if there actually are any clouds in the sky to the left of this place there is. I wonder if I can get that umbrella at some point, like, maybe, maybe, I wonder if I'm supposed to actually get it now, in fact. Whee! At least it didn't hurt myself with a torch, even though it was a fruitless endeavour. Jumping from that side of the treehouse complex. Anyway... I'll try going higher still, and then jumping from that side. And we'll see if I make any headway. Just hurt myself ever so slightly there too. Yeah, so I don't need to go up that lift anymore to get higher, do I? I must bear that in mind. When I come back here, it gets even higher still. So it seems like I can't actually get any higher on this side without venturing over to the right more. So what do you say we do that? Can I get the umbrella now? No, just an apple. So I wonder if I go this way now, if um, I'll be led to a different height by which I can leap into the clouds, if in fact there actually are any. Doubt the power pill will be needed for Pogi, oh there's some cheese in the clouds there. But it could just be a food item, couldn't it? So, may not be worth collecting just yet. But, I'll see if I can get even higher still to the left side of the treehouse complex here. Because, um, 
Maybe I simply wasn't high enough to get into those clouds, just am I with my leap there? Which would lend credence to my theory that I can actually get higher to the left side of the treehouse complex, wouldn't it? You know, I suppose it would be wise to save and and see if this is an actual food stuff and not a puzzle item. Yes, it's a food stuff, so and a reload, so that I don't waste any health. Oh, there's Dora up there. Maybe I need I need to somehow talk to her. Because I haven't actually talked to her yet, I don't think have I? Maybe I need to give something to her and solve a puzzle with her in order to progress further into this game. Ooh, I thought it was going to fall there. So, can I drop down here into Dora's presence? Yes, it hurts, but see here I am. Hi Dora, boy boy, have you seen Daisy boy boy? This is a problem because I know where he is, but I don't know how to get him to you. Look, maybe he'll understand my verbal commands and then we pause to Dora, right? But, um, the question is getting to him now, isn't it? How, um, how oh, this place is all discombobulated and messed up, geographically speaking. I'll save again and uh, try jumping from here, because I could get badly hurt and I don't have much health, so that wouldn't be conducive towards my efforts of completing the game, would it? I'll take the window frame in case it proves to be a useful item. Even though it was just hiding, um... And I'll see if I can replenish me health here with this apple, even though I know well, since there actually is a food item since I tried collecting it before, boy boy. And it almost gives me all my health back. Impressive. Yeah, so now here yeah, we have Pogi, so maybe I can just pick him up, boy. Eh? Even though usually that's easier said than done in Dizzy Games, but we'll see. No. It isn't so easy after all. Did we find the Fluffleade here within a wonder? Because if we didn't, maybe we just need to get the Fluffleade to him and then he'll come with us, eh? After he. After he stuffs himself full of it. It's always a possibility when all said and done. So, let's just descend and um, get a fluffle aid and we'll see if, this, if my plan actually comes to fruition, eh? Unfortunately, my staff, my staff, she's quite away from me here in the castle. But the sooner we get started with our big track, the better, eh? The sooner we'll get there. So, 
What could Poggy want besides the Flufflade? Maybe a plum? Maybe so so the cat could scare him too. Okay, then I'll try these items. And I'll have got a power pill with me too, but um, who knows, maybe he'll put up a fight when I try to pick him up and the power pill will make me strong enough to hold him rigidly in place, eh? It's a possibility when all said and done. So, let's go and get Poggy, eh? be wanting a plum, would you grant is it without you mentioning the Cluedo scenario or prediction for me earlier, would you? No. Well then, let's be going up to Polgy again. Let's see if one of these items will um, enable me to take him to Dora, right? So, off we go. Which way is it to, to, to Polgy? Uh, possibly this way? Yeah. Okay, Dan, let's, let's descend to where he is and use the items. <coughs> no, none of them seem to work. Maybe I just have to use them in different places or something. Pill's gonna be useful after all. No, is it working? So, what can I try now? to try heading up here and collecting the Zerr and see if it gets me into higher clouds. Yeah. You threw out the Zerr, boy, boy. Okay then, let's try and jump back into the clouds, yeah. It's a long way down the screen title tells us. Must be making Dizzy feel dizzy looking down, could imagine. Anyway, I'll say just in case I end up falling in the volcano, even from this high, even though I doubt I'm, it'll get me that close. And look at the screen title. So that says it all about how precarious predicament, doesn't it? And we have another Zaz here. Moon Zer, as the title of the screen tells us. You threw out the You and try a daring leap from this cloud. See if we come across anything useful. No. And I lost some health, but um, I'll 
I get further down, a bit further down, and then try collecting another... Well, then try collecting another food stuff so that we can see whether it is actually a food stuff or a puzzle item. That's always something of a dilemma in these dizzy games, isn't it? Not knowing when items are puzzle items or food stuffs. And I just lost a little bit more health there. Getting me down to the point where I feel like it'll be justifiable collecting the food item. I have a feeling I'd be able to look I have a feeling that we would be hiding this You crowd Anyway, I'll drop the leaves again because I doubt there'll be any help. And now I get up to the princely total of 28 zzzz, don't I? So, what to do now? Um, person who's thinking I won't actually be able to get any higher to the left of the treehouse complex here now, but... Who knows? It's always a possibility. I just thought I smelt the nice smell of sausages then. But it probably wasn't because it's not a weekend, is it? So... Is it possible we can jump any higher into the clouds from this vantage point, I wonder? I'll say, just in case I've landed something particularly destructive, like lava from a volcano. But, doesn't seem like that was any help after all, does it? So... <coughs> Let's see if, um, if I can get any higher to the left side of the treehouse complex, eh? And see if I can come across any clouds which might have helpful items precariously placed on the way. But that leads us to the long climb upward again, doesn't it? But as is usual with um, the great big long journeys, taking that first step is often the most um, is often the most important one, isn't it? Sometimes the first step can be the most, um, the hardest one to summon the uh, willpower to take. And then once we make that start and build up that momentum, things go swimmingly. Except for if you're me walking around with a great big belly and you start getting exhausted doing the walking. At that point, every single step becomes a huge monumental struggle, unfortunately enough. Anyway, we jumped from this point last time, so... Let's see if we can get any higher, what do you say? And it doesn't look like we actually will be able to get any higher. Oh, there's Dozy again. But we probably already solved his puzzle, didn't we? So, let's be heading over to the other side of the treehouse complex. And we'll, um, start jumping from those vantage points, what do you say? See if, um, I find anything helpful. And yes, that banana, as you can see, was a food item. 
Can I go into this claw what a dowser will be able to? No. Anyway, I do believe I've um, tried all of the high right side vantage points of the treehouse complex, but it pays to be thorough sometimes, doesn't it? So let's be getting back up there. You know, the very large convoluted layout of this place is starting to remind me of the old Saboteur 2, Saboteur 2 video game, which was out for the Spectrum and Amstrad CPC 464, and possibly the Commodore 64 too, which uh, involved controlling a ninja, female ninja, and uh, traversing a very large Possibly government installation to um, trigger a missile launch and presumably use it to destroy the place because um, maybe it was a big threat to mankind or something. And I'm not talking about the wrestler either. Because he was rather reckless with his health and safety, wasn't he? And he doesn't need us um, stopping missiles from being launched to save his life, does he? With Ali, he thinks nothing of taking his life in his hands, wrestling in hardcore matches and whatnot. Yeah. So, what am I to do now? Maybe go to the witch and um, see if she has anything to say. Well, I could try the spanner on the mechanism in the, in the witch's palace as well. Oh, no, the pusty. Um, Power pill wouldn't make me immune to fire because I uh, need, it, need to use it to um, to pull up the plug, don't I? You know, still maybe the fire is um, not really dangerous. So I'll leave total here just in case the fire is actually dangerous because. It was a shame, um, the idea of walking into a fire that might really be dangerous and taking a, a cute innocent cat with you isn't it? I'll take the egg as well, in case I need to cook it by the fire or something. Now let's be going there. So here we are to try out my uh, little theory here, so let's save, just in case the fire actually is harmful, which it is, obviously. Okay, then let's see if we can cut the egg or something. No? Oh, I'll use a power pill to make myself physically robust enough to get through, which doesn't seem to be an actual possibility. Or maybe we need to cut the plum. Or make the flop away bottle explode and use a shard of glass to kill the witch or something. No. Oh well. I wonder if we can jump over the fire, although that doesn't really seem like a possibility, which it isn't. But as you can see, there's a helpful item beyond the fire, which we can't actually get yet. <sighs> I wonder if I can use the power pill to get the... Uh, I think I tried getting the uh, power pill off the 
knights in shining armor. Um, I think I tried using the power pill to get the magnet off the knights in shining armor, didn't I? It didn't work, sadly enough. But might as well try again, just in case I didn't try last time. So what should I draw? And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe, um... Maybe Cinderella needs, like, an empty bottle or something. For her picnic. So I'll take the cup in case I didn't take it last time, and... The empty potion bottle. And let's go and try these things. See if there uh, what she happens to be needing for her picnic. So here we are to try out my theory. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. I remember collecting a piece of chain at some point in one of the, up in, in this game, or maybe another dizzy game, which was hiding as uh, After all, you never know. Well, dizzy game makers can be highly devious. Struggling with the OCD somewhat. Okay then. Well, let's be going back to um, Narnia. See what we can do. I'll leave the larger mug since that I got it from Narnia, didn't I? So, should it say Toto could be handy to use for a witch, show though? Aslan did tell us that we needed to use fire against her, didn't we? Or was it me who came up with that conclusion? Okay, then back to Nami. Here we go now. Shoulders really starting to bug me now. Really starting to get uncomfortable. Well, there's a room, this room here, the rest this mirror that's too high for me to get to. It makes me wonder if I need to place that other block there in order to give me that extra height so that um, I can solve a puzzle with this or something. Power pill doesn't work. Well, what about the spanner, I wonder? No. Okay then, let us descend and collect that block which I found before in the castle dungeons. And we'll see if it uh, helps with my idea, right? So down we go once more. Need to descend further, don't I, into this dungeon here? Was this uh, the way I went to... Ah, uh, yes. So, let's take these items... And see if they work with my uh, little hypothesis here. What we 
go. To the wardrobe, which takes us to Narnia. I mean, I don't think it'll work, my plan here, but... You never know. Yeah, let's get going then. And I don't suppose there's anything hidden inside the... Ah, yeah. You should And now here we are in Narnia again. Wait, I didn't try my uh, idea with the mirror and the stone block, did I? So by all means, let's try it. And I imagine the place to put it would be right here in the middle of this raised platform here. No. Well, I might need to go closer. No, it seems like that's not a winning idea after all. Into these swords, can I and use them as a source of makeshift platform? I guess not. Well, I'll leave the stone block here in case I succeed with my ideas in Narnia. And back to Narnia we go. Nothing I can do with this tree stump pistol. I'll collect a flower or anything. And because we need the power pill to open the um to pull open the plug, I have my doubts that we'll be able to use it to fight the witch. Shame that we can't see the metal on Aslan, isn't it? Although we can't, you know, physically fight off the witch for us. Down we go then. Don't suppose there's any puzzles we can do here with this big obvious wall, is there? I was worried I might have gotten stuck there. What lands, eh? Very helpful description there. I suppose there's always the possibility that under the bridge, see, they could help us here with this bridge. But an idea that I have now is to see if maybe we can use the spanner to pull this mechanism away from the wall and use it as a puzzle item or something. But no, it would seem that actually isn't the case, sadly enough. Don't suppose we can jump into this picture or interact with it anyway? Listen to that sinister, ominous music. Nothing we can do with the chandeliers, is there? Or maybe jump through walls or something. I suppose there's the possibility that um, Cinderella could be wanting the milk bottle for her um, picnic, but I think I might have tried that. 
don't seem to get through any of these walls, can I? Shield is getting really bad. Can I jump into this picture? No. And even though I got stuck momentarily there, um, it was probably just um, on that little sticky out bit of a lock on the wall. Anything I can collect up here, I wonder. How many walls I can pass through. Yes, not. Anyway, I've decided that um, I'm gonna try that plug puzzle with full health and see if um, it's possible to get up there before drowning with full health. So. I'll collect the I'll eat the cheese like you just saw me do. And uh, if if my ideas here fail with the witch then we can always try um try this try the puzzles with the water, can't we? So I'll save just in case I lose health for you with the witch and let's see if we can do this. Just trying everything here out of desperation. I wonder if I can jump past her or something. No. You were killed. You were killed, but you were killed by the white. You were killed by the white witch. Pray, pray. You lose a life. Pray, pray. How careless of you. Pray, pray. Okay. I'm gonna do that back again, actually, in case there's like a false wall behind there which you can jump through, which there isn't. Okay then, don't suppose I could make the chandelier fall in front of her and start a fire which should burn it to death, burn it to death. Or just scare her away, since that's kind of cruel. Burning it, burning it, burning it to death. Oh. Did I go all the way to the top of this, uh of a tower, I wonder. Just to see if there's anything I missed. Yeah, it seems like I did the previous time. So, let's be leaving. And I'll try the milk bottle with um, Cinderella, just in case it didn't last time. Um, I wonder, I wonder if there's anything, I can, anywhere I can drop down to. On this, uh, among, amongst this castle structure. To maybe find hidden items or whatever. No. So, now we need to go all the way back up, don't we? To escape the place via the clouds. So, up we go again. I don't think the castle's all that high, the top of the castle is all that high up, is it? So, you know, I'll try, I'll save and try this to make sure it's a fluid stuff and 
not a puzzle item like I feel it could be. Yeah. Okay then, off we go. Fortunately for the stunt actually hurt in this particular dizzy game, so that means we can take fun leaps in a rather reckless fashion just to make spectacular descents. Almost out of this cold place now and back to the warmth of the castle. Although you could imagine castles being rather drafty with them being big and open and uh, spacious, couldn't you? So, let's be going to Cinderella. And see if we have what we need for a hey. Hey. In the form of a um, In the form of the bottle of milk, hey. Because that definitely does seem like the kind of thing you need for a picnic, doesn't it? No? Oh, that's shocking to say the least. Uh, I wonder what else there is then. I mean, it seems familiar to us. I found a rather elaborate looking bottle in another part of the game. But I'm not sure whether it was in the treehouse complex or in the castle basement. Although I think it checked all the castle basement rooms before, didn't I? So that just leaves the treehouse complex. But um, I thought it checked near enough every room of the treehouse complex before when I was. Um, When I was ch when I was um, trying all of the um, when I was trying all of the high vantage points. Anyway, I'm gonna take the yeah, bottle of milk for Polgy just just in case it works for Polgy. You'll understand. Also, I'll check these background objects, see if they're not hiding any zzzz, as they colloquially know, like this grass is here, for instance. You know, I'm gonna take this tuft of grass with me just in case there ends up being a useful puzzle item, which I highly doubt. So, time for the tedious task of checking all of these, um, all of these, the treehouse complex screens, although yeah, that's what it was going to do, isn't it? I was going to try those water sections again, and see if, um, you know, I find any here, see if I can do them quickly enough now that I've got full health. But that's something else of course about trying taking a dip into that water where that drift was it where, where that driftwood is and um, see if I ever find any helpful items here since this is a dizzy game where we don't die immediately when we touch water, isn't it? But um should I take? I don't think I'll bother taking anything. Because I doubt there'll be any puzzles to solve in that um, body of water to the right side of the castle here. So, 
Oh, it's been nosing, gone over to that body of water. I don't suppose not having any items would enable me to fit through that little gap, but it does seem doubtful, does I? Enough as that. You Okay, then I'll save just in case I lose health because. Um, you know, I'm wanting to try that water thing again, aren't I? And I'll take the gold bottle in case I forget it, forget it again. Yes, yeah, so. Let's see if we can take a dip in this water and find anything use, useful, hopefully. Uh, I guess not. Uh, let's see how far I can go, though. Nah, it doesn't seem like I'm going to actually find anything useful, does it? I did seem to be able to hold my breath at one time in that water, though, didn't I? But yeah... Let's see if we can interact with that other plant here. No. Okay, then I'll try venturing f even further in once that fish is gone. And now, yeah, let's try it. See what we, we find. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything useful. I'll venture further in because I'm obviously going to die. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything useful there. So... Let's be going back. Suppose an empty golden bottle would help us get down there. Oh, that Cinderella would need an empty golden bottle for a picnic. Or oh, some grass, even though she's literally surrounded by grass. No. Okay, then back to the castle we go. Strand, another, another tuft of grass to add to our collection here. I don't suppose um, maybe collecting some water in the big cup would um, enable us to put out a fire in the castle, would it? Or maybe we could collect water in the potion bottle as well, but, um... I don't know, it seems more likely we'd need the fire extinguisher, doesn't it, really? I could always try it. Try these items, though. I thought the fire extinguisher emptied before, though. Although, if it's foam in the fire extinguisher, then it wouldn't empty at all, would it? Although, I have also used a fire extinguisher with this other fire before, in a previous part, in a previous part, but let's try. No, it doesn't work. Unfortunately enough. Or maybe it could refill the fire extinguisher with water. I don't suppose the mug has any liquid in it already that could put the fire out. Seemingly not. Okay, then I'll... Alright, another hidden If, um, I could use a block to get it to climb that skeleton or something. Or maybe use a block to um, 
Let's pull up this uh, crossing block. Oh, maybe, maybe the blade would cut the block, and um, then the blade wouldn't come down anymore. Oh, maybe that banana is a puzzle item with how uh, I've already eaten a banana before. But it's probably more likely that there's just more than one banana in the game to eat, isn't it? Anyway, let's see if we can collect the item and then get out of this water in time. Okay, go up as fast as you can now, Dizzy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, no. Very close, but I don't think it's possible. Can always try again. Drop the bricks. And let's go. Got to do it perfectly. Oh yeah, let's go. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I did uh, take. I did waste time taking a run up there, didn't I? For that jump, and um, so you never know, maybe, um, maybe if we do it very, very perfectly, it could actually work. This plan of mine, although it would be very hard to do that, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I could try. Okay, let's try this again. Doing it very, very perfectly. Oh no, that's not very, very perfectly. Of course, if it's this hard to do, then this it probably isn't the solution, is it? And I'm gonna reload it because the fish will be out of position. And the position do I need them to be in so that they won't hurt me? Oh, that was a good one though. That could be good enough for me to do it. Yes! Oh, it's just barely, but I, I did it. So, makes me wonder if, um, if I wasn't actually supposed to do that and if I needed the apple one, doesn't it? Anyway, this video's gotten super long, and because I've made progress, I'll just eat the banana. Because I've made progress, and I have hope for the next video. Let's save our video and stop. Save our game and come out of the game and stop our video. Because this video's gotten rather unfortunately long. So, until next time, I bid you all farewell, baby doll viewers at home, so keep yourself safe. That's an order. Bye, bye. Bye.